Hello everyone, welcome to MS Active Webcast. In this video, we are going to see the steps on how to create a new tenant in Azure Active Directory. First, let's understand what is tenant in Azure Active Directory. A tenant refers to a single instance of Azure Active Directory. Azure Active Directory is a key piece of Microsoft's cloud platform as it provides a single place to manage users, groups and the permissions they hold in relation to applications published in Azure Active Directory. Tenants are globally unique and are scoped using a domain that ends with .onmicrosoft.com domain name and each has a tenant ID in the form of an UUID or GUID. Some customers choose to connect their internal Active Directory environment to Azure Active Directory to allow single or same sign-on for their staff and will also use a custom domain instead of the default .onmicrosoft.com domain name. Keep in mind that you can associate Azure Active Directory tenants with multiple subscription. But a subscription can only ever be associated with a single Azure Active Directory tenant at any time. We can do all of our administrative tasks using the Azure Active Directory portal, including creating a new tenant for our organization. So let's see the steps to create a new tenant in Azure Active Directory. For that, we need to access and log into the Azure portal. Uh, you can access the Azure portal using the URL https colon double slash portal dot azure dot com. So let me enter the URL in my web browser https colon double slash portal dot azure dot com. Now I need to press enter key. Uh, enter the username. In my case, it is cladmin at clarex dot on microsoft dot com. Remember, this is the same user account which I have used in the previous videos on Exchange Online. So in that already I have created one video to how to create a trial account of Office 365 and I'm using the same account uh, for this uh, video series as well. Okay, uh, let me click on next. Let's uh, enter the password and click on sign in. Okay, it is asking for multi-factor authentication. So I need to open Microsoft Authenticator app on my phone. And let me click on approve. Perfect. Okay, I'm going to select this. Don't show this again. And let me click on yes. So it won't ask for the username and password again. Okay, so now uh, we are on Microsoft Azure. Uh, administration portal which you can access using the URL HDPS call and double slash portal dot azure dot com. Okay. Uh, from the Azure portal menu under manage Azure Active Directory, we need to click on view or you can also search for Azure Active Directory here. Okay. Now, right now we are on the overview page of our existing Azure Active Directory tenant, uh, which is Clarex. Uh, we have created this for Exchange Online training video series. Uh, let me click on users so you, uh, you can have the idea about the users which I have created in the last video series. Okay, these are the users which we have used in uh, Exchange Online video series. Fine. Again, I'm going to click on home and uh, under manage Azure Active Directory, I'm going to click on view. Now here you can see I'm using the credential of uh, user Manhar Rakulia. Uh, which is cladmin at clarex.onmicrosoft.com and he is a global administrator. A global administrator has a full control to manage your Azure Active Directory and it's all of the settings. Okay. On the overview page, uh, click on manage tenants. Your existing tenants associated with the subscription will be listed here. In my case, I have a only one and that is a clarex. You can see the domain name clarex.onmicrosoft.com and the tenant type is Azure Active Directory. To create a new tenant, need to click on create button. On the basic step, select the type of tenant you want to create. Either 
Azure Active Directory or Azure Active Directory B2C. You must have a subscription in order to create an Azure Active Directory B2C directory type. With free subscription, we can only create Azure Active Directory tenant and that we are going to select. Okay. Now I'm going to click on next, uh, which is configuration tab. Right now we are on our configuration tab. Here we need to enter the name of the organization which we want to use. So I'm going to specify MSFT webcast and then you need to specify initial domain name. Okay. By default, uh, initial domain name at dot on microsoft.com is included with your directory. Uh, here I'm going to specify MSFT webcaster. So our full name is going to be MSFT webcaster dot on microsoft.com. Later on, you can add a custom domain name that your organization already using such as msftwebcast.com. Choose a country or region. Uh, in my case, it is going to be India. Okay, so I'm going to select India here. You can see the data center location is in Asia Pacific region. So here it is telling us that data center location is based on the country or region you have selected above. Make sure that you have selected correct geolocation because your choice determines the data center for your directory. So I'll go with India. And now I'm going to click on next tab, which is for review plus create. Review the information you have entered. And if the information is correct, you can click on create to create new Azure Active Directory tenant. But before you click on create, make sure that all the validation has passed and that we can see here. In our case, the tenant type is going to be Azure Active Directory. Organization name is MSFT Webcast. Initial domain name is MSFT Webcaster dot on Microsoft dot com. Country which I have selected is India and the data center location is in Asia Pacific region. Now let's click on create to create new free Azure Active Directory tenant. We need to enter the CAPTCHA to prove that we are not a robot. So let me enter the CAPTCHA. 3 Y X D M R G M. Okay. Uh, let me click on submit. So we can see the confirmation message that tenant creation is in progress. Uh, this will take some time to create new tenant for us. Let's uh, wait a little bit. We can see the message that tenant creation was successful. Click here to navigate to your new tenant MSFT webcast. So let me click on that link and uh, which will take us to the new Azure Active Directory tenant uh, with the domain name msftwebcaster.onmicrosoft.com and here we can see our organization name MSFT Webcast. Uh, let me again click on Manage Tenants and here we can see uh, MSFT Webcast. Now this is our default Azure Active Directory tenant. Here we can see the domain name which is msftwebcaster.onmicrosoft.com uh, Here we can see the tenant type which is Azure Active Directory and here we have uh, our globally unique organization ID. Uh, let me tell you one thing which I forgot to tell you earlier that when you create a new Azure Active Directory tenant, you become the first user of that tenant. As the first user, you are automatically assigned the global admin role. Let's check out your user account by navigating to the users page. Uh, for that, I'm going to click on MSFT webcast. This is our Azure Active Directory tenant. So let me click there. Uh, let me click on MSFT webcast and let's under manage, let's click on users. Here we can see we have a one user account. You can see the username cladmin at clarex.onmicrosoft.com rakhulia. Now this is my user account which I have used. If you click here, you can see this is the user account. But here, Rakhulia, cladmin at clarex.onmicrosoft.com. Uh, let me click on that uh, user account. And uh, let me click on uh, assign rules. And here we can see uh, this user account has a global administrator, administrator rule assigned to it.
Uh, again, let me click on MS Active Webcast and we are on a overview tab. Now we can manage users, groups and the permissions in Azure Active Directory from this interface. So that concludes the video on how to create a new tenant in Azure Active Directory using the Microsoft Azure portal. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.